Ooh. Wheels of the bus go round and round. Uh, that's a winner on this wheel. Always is. I really do run this establishment. All just, you really do is run your mouth. What are you, you doing? You really here? are an idiot. You know that, right? You're well, if an idiot means the greatest of fucking all time, then you're goddamn right. You what dictionary idiot. are you using? That's at the source. Uh, you can't even spell the source. Listen, let's let's just get to the point. Let's just end this, okay? I want to finally shut you up. You know, I want to challenge you. And I tried challenge to do that. Me. Yeah, because I tried to do that and you kind of ran like a little whimpering cowering dog. You sent Burnett and Burnett got beat. So I want you. Let's do this. You're spinning the wheel. I mean, I doubt in you know anything aspect, about David. In what aspect do you want to play me? You, you, you know, regular Smowdown, Inner Geekdom, whichever one. Inner I just want to beat you and shut your mouth. You, you really are annoying. You can't beat me. I can beat your fashion you sense. What is up with that hat? Ever. Where did you get this shirt? Like what the me. hell are you two what? doing here? He is an this idiot. Guy, why, why is who, here? Why, who let y'all in here and why are you touching the. Are you guys waiting the wheel? Well, I run this place now because Frenny. You have to you run your notes. mouth. See, that's hey, the problem. Dad, he runs his mouth too much. I want to shut him up. Okay. In fact, can I put him through a wall? There's chairs. Don't, I can hit him. Don't with. put him through any walls. You can beat two thousand. He can't even read. Is my, new, is my new year. All right. I said I'm going to win a championship. Don't worry, I'll have one. By I've the got end an of idea. This. There's a championship. I've got an idea. I've been thinking about this for a little bit. You think too much. I got, a th I got an idea. What if I put the two of you in the spectacular? Okay. I'm already in the spectacular. I, no, 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 no. I'm, As I, competitors, I, I the tag team champions. face to face. One on one? One on one. Really the out. winner can take anyone from their faction. You get a number one contender spot. Would you two play each other? Yes. All right. If it shut him up finally, I, I'm oh, so no willing question. to do this. All right. I've it got an be, idea. It would be glorious. Let's do it. It'll be the first ever manager bowl at this year's spectacular. Okay. Winner gets anyone from their faction to a number one contender spot. I'm game with that. Does that work? He's not going to have a faction by the time this is over with. What? Just Does stop. It? Pay attention. Focus. <laughs> Do you want to play this? I'm just saying. Are you down? What day? The spectacular. spectacular. What day is that? The 22nd? It's the 22nd. It's gotta you get are It's got to be over quickly. I got the Doobie Brothers concert after all right, that. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Who still? Why are we even? How hot? What type will of job? Will you sign a contract? <sighs> yes. I've got one right here. Yes. Ooh, all right. Surprise. Let's get this You student. can't read. Can Let's we? do it. You'll see. Let's do it. You'll see. I don't see if you can read. This is going to be easy pickings. Whatever else the clowns you deal with are going to be involved in this. Sign the paper! What was that? I, it looks looks legal. All right, that's guys. How, that's how winners All right. Oh, my God. We're ready? You got shake on it? I can't even go out the damn door. I wasn't going to shake his hand no way. I don't blame you. Mark Ellis, I am joined by celebrity talent Ken Knapsack, and Ken, we continue to keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Oh, and rolling, yeah. and rolling, and rolling. <laughs> great song from a great musical time, the man. The crowd loves <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun time here. We're in a good mood, Mark, because we've got four fun guys who yeah. are going to be competing here fun today. Fun guy. It's plant-based, and yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a very organic sense of humor they have, and also they might know a little bit about movie trivia. Yep. We have only stupid answers. Yep. Uh, with Sam DJ and, and DJ. Sam, yep. Very, very you, nice You go guys. Sam and DJ. I, w I say DJ and Sam. I feel like we're pitching a sitcom yeah. with, with a Sam and a DJ. You got Sam Malone from Cheers, yep. right? You got DJ from Full House. Ooh, and it's going to yeah. be a full house here in the studio today when you talk about the excitement in the crowd, when you talk about my segue ability, and yeah. only stupid answers is opponent today, a team whose merchandise is sweeping the nation. Yeah. Wild Berry shirts popping up everywhere. Josh McCuga and Elliot the Mountain Dewberry. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Look, we were waiting forever to find out who Josh McCuga's partner was. There mm -hmm. was months of speculation. Yep. There was blogs. There was podcasts. People wondering. And we got the answer. In round one of the Ultimate Schmodown team tournament against Wolves of Steel. And it was Elliot Dewberry, who had single ca yep. handily carried his former team, ETC, with Ricky, to two number one contender matches. They came up short, Mark, but not in the hearts of fans. People <laughs> 
Love them. Yeah, you know, Elliot Dewberry winning the hand of Josh McCuga, who has now been spoken for in multiple fronts in his life. But Only Stupid Answers intrigues me because I feel like DJ and Sam might be able to complement each other's knowledge in movie trivia a little bit better. I look at Elliot and I look at Josh, and yeah. they might like each other a little bit too much because they have too similar of tastes in too similar of movies. Do they have the, the breadth of yeah. knowledge necessary to win a match? We're about to find out. We're going to find out. Now, only stupid answers. Sam and DJ are great guys with uh, solid, solid shows. That all, yep. Only stupid answers is, is a great show. These are great guys. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, you've seen their work around town. But they had the test. They made their debut against Critically Acclaimed, which was very tough. Yeah. And they did take a loss, but it was a tough fight. Maybe even they surprised themselves. Only stupid answers did. But they're back. They lost that match. But again, the fans did respect them and grew to love them as well. Just maybe not as much as the Wild Berries with the Wild Bears beer drinking, uh, <laughs> joke cracking, bizarre post interviews, all those kind of things. But glad to have both teams here today. Yeah, I mean, uh, both teams come in, as Ken mentioned, at a 0-1 and one record. And like the first Rocky movie, Rocky loses, but in Rocky 2, he gets a win. God, I hope that's not one of the answers in our questions uh, oh, today. Oh, yeah. But, Ken, we might have given away the ending of Rocky. We have no idea what's going to happen today other than this. A guarantee from Mark and Ken and everybody here at the Movie Trivia spread on to you. Somebody is going going to leave today with a win. It might happen in overtime. And you know what? Josh McCougan needs a win. This would be his third team, and he has an overall record of one and three in team competitions. That's not good. No, it, is, Yoda is, is it bad? It. It's not good. It's not good. No. And that's a quote that we hear from Josh McCuga a whole lot, and yeah. now we're going to hear a little bit more from Josh McCuga, Elliot, DJ, and Sam. Here we go. Hi, we are Only Stupid Answers. Suck it. Can you still taste it? Wild berries! You know what that taste is. It's a wild berry and it's inside your mouth. We were invited to come back to the Schmodown and we said yes. So that means we're back here and we are, well, also prepared. Yeah, we have friends here and they wanted us to come on the show. And we did a lot of studying. Mm, 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 mm. We are two of the greatest competitors in the history of the Schmodown. Without question. And together, we are the hands down greatest team to ever grace this stage. We are told that they have fans making their own merch. We have to make our merch for our fans. So we're feeling a little bit bummed about that. But you know what we aren't? Wild berries! We are not the kind of people who give stupid answers. No stupid answers. We give right answers. The right ones, the correct ones, the wild ones. The winning ones. We don't feel like we embarrassed ourselves last time, but this time we're out to murder some We're here for blood. <laughs> First blood. When you've been wandering in the woods aimlessly, shitting your pants, <laughs> looking for one tiny little morsel to eat so you can live another day. You want a wild berry? Wild berries! We're here for your blood, you berries. Suck it. That was that didn't. That's why you had those. <laughs> I didn't know why I had them. I didn't know why I had them. I was gonna see what happened. And it was, it was, it was underwhelming. <laughs> Look out! Because you're about to fall into a thorn bush full of wild berries. That's right. Wild berries coming straight for you, DJ and Sam. We think you're great guys with wonderful smiles, and I'm sure you're good at answering trivia questions, but you are no match for a thorn bush full of wild berries. God, those guys. I mean, All right. I, I almost don't want them to compete in movie trivia because just watching them bark yeah. at each other is such a – I get such a deep carnal pleasure yeah. out of it, watching it. I mean, there's a lot of things to find pleasure in there. You have Makuga yelling wild berries until his voice is, is hoarse and DJ and Sam holding the mics for each other. It's very, very touching. These teams come in with some strengths. Uh, Elliot and Josh, action, venture movies. If there's a bad boys question, good night, nurse. Uh, Elliot knows 2000s pretty well. Uh, and uh, a lot of classics. He was well-rounded player. Sam and DJ, their strengths are just being happy to be here. It's going to be <laughs> fun to see them out there. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. To, we had we had the tail of the tape. We had the interviews. I think all that's left is the carnage that's about to ensue. That's right. It's time for the movie trivia <laughs> Shmoda. Three rounds to a finish. Man, they are excited to be here. Introducing first, with a record of zero wins and one defeat, Sam and DJ, only stupid answers! Boy, each other like a high school football oh. team. Friday Night Lights having a little bit of, oh, oh I like look at that the brotherhood there. That was, that was almost, uh, 
Vader Obi-Wan from New Hope. <laughs> that was almost that good, though, man. That was good. Uh, All right. A All right. bond that cannot be broken except maybe by another loss. Yeah, right. Their opponents representing ridiculousness with a record of zero wins and one defeat. Elliot, the Mondubari, and the Wild Married Man, Josh Bakuga, the Wild Married. You know, I didn't think anybody could keep up with Bakuga on a dance floor or drinking, but Elliot Dubarry wow. determined to do both Whoa. right now. That ain't your daddy's apple juice <laughs> right there. It might be grandpa's, yep. though. You know, I got to say, you know, watching Makuga dance, I ha recently had the uh, uh, the pleasure of seeing one John Makuga do something called a chair dance, mm -hmm. and now I understand oh, where yeah, Josh Makuga got, got that skill. He hears his daddy's name, and he's <laughs> got to honor the Makuga legacy. Oh. Newberry cheering him on it. And look, even the only stupid answers guys getting yeah. into it a little bit. This. All right. All right, uh, Josh. Is, Why don't you go ahead and sit down? Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you for your time. This show is in no way sponsored by Fireball. Please, kids, keep the amount of shots of Fireball you take in any given weekend to under 10. Please be stupid responsibly. Uh, and only stupid answers and wild berries. Here's the rules in round one. Each team mate is going to hear eight questions. They are all to be called to berries? So if you're going to be like everybody. Sir, teammate, sir, sir, sir. It's berries. Okay. All right. We, we, okay. Can, we can go with that. So only Appreciate stupid it. answers going up against WBs. Um, gotcha. In round one, you're going to hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. Once you hear it asked from us up here at the answer desk, please write down your answer and then hold that tight. Hold it like you would a loved one or maybe a, 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 a confused person that you met a long time ago that you're embracing again. And then, when we ask you to reveal your answer, please show it to the camera, and at the same time, verbalize your answer into the amplification device right in front of you. Uh, Wild Berries, you guys, excuse me, Berries, you guys are good to go? Wild Berries! That's right, what he said. Sounds like an affirmative, only stupid answers. Are you ready to compete? We're just here to have fun. fun. <laughs> All right. Well, if they're ready, you're ready, I'm ready, then let's get ready to schmoda. Here we go, round number one, eight questions coming in. Animated movies yeah. is the first category. These are movies that are not live action, but in fact drawn. And your question is, <laughs> Mufasa was trampled by a stampede of what kind of animals in the movie The Lion King? Mm. What, maybe that one of the most emotional, touching yeah, that parts in a movie. doesn't sound very happy for a cartoon. No, know? but that's what Disney does, Ken. Mm, they, they pull on the strings, they right? It's easier. They reach in, they rip your All heart right. out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers from Josh McCuga. Uh, that'd be wildebeests? We can accept wildebeest yep, yep. because it is the right answer. Yes. Well done, yep. Josh. Making your dad proud. All right, we got DJ. Uh, also wildebeest, unsure about the spelling. Uh, jo Josh McCook actually didn't have it right either, I don't believe. Cool. Maybe he did, so we will accept that. We'll accept yeah. that. That attempt at an answer. We are not a spelling bee. <laughs> All right, Elliot. Wildebeests. Uh, that is correct. Yes. 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 Oh, this is, yes. All right, Sam. Uh, wildebeest. With the with the drawing, we're gonna accept we're that. Gonna accept yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna accept it. Right. Hot, hot start. Woo. It's a wild right. well start. Done. You guys right. are a hot wild berry pie. Delicious. <laughs> All right. Delicious. Keep it family Alamode. friendly. Ooh, Keep it yeah. friendly, family friendly. All right. Two two is the score. Question two. Category is comedies. Comedies. What was the name of the California town where Bill and Ted were from in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Uh, Remember the uh, the guitar player that they wanted to get for their band? By yeah, any chance? He's, yeah. A, he's a pretty famous gentleman. Mm -hmm. If you care to take a mm -hmm. guess, Steve Vai. That's incorrect, Ken. You're breaking my heart here. All right. Oh. In five, four, three, two, and one. DJ. Ooh, I uh, don't know. I thought I'd give a good call to try and say Los Angeles. I mean, that's uh, no. Big town. Yeah, big, <laughs> big town. Big <laughs> town. Elliot. I mean, you know. Uh, home of 
Raging Waters Water Park, San Dimas. Whoa. That is San and Dimas football San rules. Dimas. <laughs> San Dimas. Uh, San Dimas as well. All right. Point. San Dimas football rules. All right, 4-3. <laughs> I think uh, Josh McCuga kind of showed his hand yeah. there. He kind of tipped <laughs> what his answer was going to be <laughs> when his partner answered correctly. And now Wild Bears have yeah. opened up a 4-3 to three lead, four to three lead on only stupid Huge. answers. Your All right. next game. We won. movie okay. trivia question comes from the category of dramas. Oh. Your question is, who plays Leonardo DiCaprio's partner cop in Shutter Island? Oh, mm. Shutter Island. One uh, of uh, McCuga's fan. Yes, uh, looking for the actor's name. Yes, yes. Yeah, at some point, McCook's going to have to write down uh, an answer. going to have to write it down because I'm going to need yeah. an answer soon. He goes from uh, in five, left to four, right on the board. Three, he writes. two, and one. McCook, your pen down. We'll let it slide. All right. Starting with Elliot. Mark Ruffalo. You got it. That's a point. Sam. Mark Ruffalo. Look at that. That's a point. Josh McCuga. Uh, Michael Stuhlbarg. Oh, I don't know who that is, but it's not He's right. He's a great actor. He's, he is a tremendous uh, actor, to DJ. be fair. Mark Ruffalo. All right. Yeah. Tie game. Uh, Tie game. 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 Three. Fourth question coming in here. Fourth question coming in. Coming in hot, as somebody Woo! would say. Category comic book movies. Who plays Peggy Carter, love interest to Steve Rogers in Captain America, the first Avenger? Good old Cap. I uh, am really impressed with that movie the more I watch. Really? You, you, really? you took a character that could have been so easily cheeseball, and you made him and into one of the great five, superheroes in modern four, cinema. Are three, you doing the countdown just to two, cut me off? One, I am. Sam. <laughs> Haley Atwell. That's correct for a point. That's a big get. Josh McCuga. That'd be the stunning Haley Atwell. That mm. is uh, correct. Complimentary. Haley Atwell as well, that and her show was pretty good, too. Show was like good, too. Movies, Elliot. Yeah. No one knows. Oh. 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 Only stupid answers right. for the right. point lead. It's all right. That's right. We are learning that only stupid answers knows a whole lot about answering questions correctly. They're spelling. Uh, we'll not talk so to DJ much. about yeah, that. My so God, much. clean that up. And here we go to your He's next movie category, <laughs> action adventure movies. And your question is simple. Who directed the film Face Off? Mm, I, I didn't know that film had a director. Were you <laughs> allowed to see this movie, uh, or did your parents prohibit it? I did. It? I worked in a movie theater when this came out. Did so you get I a pin for it or anything? Five, four, three, two, and a one. Need some pens down, and we are looking for answers, starting with Josh McCuga. John Cassavetes? Oh, oh, no. No. But, I mean, you do. I mean, that's nice that you pulled that name yeah. out of your brain. Half right. DJ. <laughs> Half right. John Woo? John Woo is right. Oh. The Doves, man. Elliot. Jerry Bruckheimer. I mean, you know, that's not a bad guess. <laughs> that's a wild answer, and I like it. Uh, Sam. Nick Cage. I mean, <laughs> essentially. It feels it's a like classic answer. answer. It feels it's right. It's how was he not the director of that movie? <laughs> it's a classic. All right. God. Guys, oh, we've got boy. your sixth question here in the first round. Category is sports, sports movies, movies yes. about sports. Who plays the California Angels manager George Knox in 1994's Angels in the Outfield? Did you uh, see the picture of Jay Washington mm -hmm. sat on a plane next to this gentleman? Love this movie. Mm -hmm. Love Angels. All right. Love Outfield. Looking for answers. In I love the Outfield. Five, four, Josie's on a vacation far three. Away. Two and one. DJ Wildridge. Angels in the outfield? Yeah. I'm pulling decades back and I'm probably wrong. Danny Glover? No, you're right. Nailed That's it. Yeah. Nailed it okay. from way back. Up nine to six there. And Elliot. Danny Glover. Oh, keep your pace. Nine seven. Sam. Danny Glover. Look at that. John Ten Macuga. seven. Makuga. I was corrected. He is not related to Donald Glover. It's Danny Glover. That is correct. No relation. Danny Ten, Glover. Ten eight. Ten eight. All right. Pretty fantastic there. Seventh question in the first round. I'm getting too old for this shit. Fantasy <laughs> sci-fi is your next category, and your question is: War of the Worlds was the second science fiction collaboration between Steven Spielberg and Tom Cruise. What was the first? That's a good question. I, yeah, I like I, that I've question. enjoyed this first round yeah, thus far. It's good stuff. It's been competitive. Good, good stuff. questions. I have yeah. a tall Trenta ice water. Ooh, I, uh, you order those Trentas. Five, four, three, two, and Marcus a bladder of an elephant one. <laughs> Elliot. 
Unnecessary comment. Minority Report. That is correct for a point. Got it right. Sam. Uh, I just drew Squiggles. I you know what? Time. It's good. It's good. Uh, good as uh, some squiggles. other people Squiggles, have great movie. Yeah. It's a solid movie. Josh McCuga. Uh, I said Oblivion. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, you are. You are. DJ. Oh, my gosh. A two-point lead going in the final question. <clears throat> DJ and Sam, once again, maybe surprise themselves, or this is the game they play. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. And final question is 90s movies. These are movies that came out movies. in the 19 or 1890s. Who plays Virgil Earp in Tombstone? Tombstone or Tom B. Stone <laughs> is the other way you could say that. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe one of the funniest things I've heard all week. Yeah. You, ever have a, you ever have a good Tombstone pizza? Uh, I do. That's yeah. why I have ulcers. Five. Four, then Freshetta came three, in and just blew him out of the two, water. And one, Mama Celeste is still the best brand. And Sam. <laughs> nah, I've never seen this movie, so I'm Kurt Russell. Uh, he's in it, but no. Wow. Josh Kuga. Sam Elliott. That is correct for a yeah, point. Give a point. Sam DJ. Elliott. I also just went with somebody that was in the movie, Val Kilmer. No, incorrect. Yeah. But he is there, Elliott. Sam oh, Elliott. Yeah, we have it's a it. Wild Berry uh, Oh, yeah. Wild Berries. Tie game, Elliot, with the big pull there. Wild berries. What all right. a drama we've had already in the first round. You know, yeah. Ken, you just wonder if wild berries, as we see so many times in sports, expended so much energy getting that comeback to tie the yeah. game at the end of round one, if they have anything left in the tank after Shut that exciting pregame interview, down, after all of the pregame frivolity, can they hang in there for yeah. two more rounds against only stupid answers who really came to play? Well, and we saw only stupid answers do this against critically mm -hmm. acclaimed. You thought they were overmatched. Critically claimed as a great team. And then they just hung in there, maybe had a chance to win that, that game. Match. So we're seeing Sam and DJ show that they absolutely have a lot of pop culture movie trivia knowledge. We'll see how that fares in round two, which is known affectionately by some as the wheel round. The in this round, wheel round, the wheel is going to come out. It's very heavy. That's why Coster has such great shoulders. Once it comes out, each team gets a spin at the wheel. Whatever wow. category you spin, you can either elect to keep it or you can use your mulligan and spin again. Whatever it lands on, you must take six questions. Mm -hmm. You must you must take six questions from that movie category. Each question is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing in round two. Teammates are allowed to confer with each other on each and every question. All right. With that said, we have got ourselves a tie game, but the Wild Bears came in favored. So they're going to have the opportunity to spin first if they want or defer to their opponents and put the pressure on. Gentlemen, defer. They're going to defer, defer and it. only stupid answers is going to spin their first attempt. DJ or Sam, grab that wheel and give it a big spin. DJ Woldridge. All right. Spin coming in arms. there. Good wing He's got spin some reach. on DJ. Uh, uh, and Ron, Ron Howard, if Ron you Howard. want to keep it, we're, doing, we're taking our, we're spinning again. Oh. Spinning again. Spinning right, again. again. DJ, give it a good spin for your second go around. That's there a good spin go. right there. Good one. Spin is in, Mark. They spin didn't is in. Want Ron Howard. Did they not want Ron Howard. Oh. Oh. Fantasy sign take it. They Damn. are going to get it. Six questions. Six questions in the category of fantasy sci fi. Here you go, boys. I will be asking your questions. Remember, you do have multiple choice. Ken, why don't you ask them the questions? Uh, sounds like a plan. Copster, is that okay? <laughs> oh, he's okay. back. Welcome. Right. Question one. Who played a warrior on horseback in a fantastical land in 2002, a doctor exploring space in 2009, and an enforcer of the peace in 2012? Looking for the actor's name. Three different movie roles. Yeah. Do we get multiple choices? If you'd it? like it, you can. Now, yeah, when you when you request multiple choice, the value of the question goes from two points to one yeah. point. Okay. So we need an answer or a choice in five, four, three, two. Oh, multiple choice. A, Carl Urban. B, Sam Worthington. C, Guy Pierce. D, Hugo Weave. Carl Urban. That is correct for a point. The two oh. towers. Oh. Mayor, Star oh. Trek, Dr. McCoy, and Dredd as Judge Dredd. Question two. In the aforementioned minority report, 
who plays U.S. Department of Justice agent Danny Whitwer that was chasing after Tom Cruise for the first half of the film? Colin Farrell. That's correct for two well, points. God damn it. All right. Putting some yeah. space between them and the berries. Well, I'd like to point out something. That the name between. of their team is very misleading. All right. All right. All right. Your team Just name saying. is Dead On. <laughs> <laughs> correct. Correct. Question three, guys. Question three. Who played Senator Bail Organa in the Star Wars prequels and Rogue One? You still have the Star Wars belt? Jimmy Smith. That's correct. Two more points. Wow, okay. All right. Fourth question. You remember, you have six. Fourth question. What actor, who also played a villain in the Die Hard franchise, plays Brom, a former dragon rider and Aragon's mentor in Aragon? Jeremy Irons. That's correct for two points. Woo! They actually Free saw Harry Aragon. Potter they Look saw Aragon. <laughs> I Look did. at that fifth question coming in. What form does Harry's Patronus charm take in the Harry Potter franchise? A stag? That's correct for two more points. Put the pressure on. Look at this. All right, guys. All right, guys. Who played? Well, berries aren't happy. Sorry. Who played the robot Andrew in Bicentennial Man? Oh. Robert Williams. Robert Whoa! Williams. Robert Williams. Robert Williams. Ah! We're going to. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say he caught himself before. Mm, I'm gonna accept I that. I can answer. accept that. I'm gonna accept, accept that, that as well. I, I want to die right now. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm he almost got, JT'd himself. He almost did. Now, two more points. Two more points. Wow. We man. are in dangerous <laughs> territory here. We're now in listen, TKO if the wild territory. were in fact the dingleberries, we would cha we would challenge that. <laughs> But you're not. A butthole you do not live in. I'm going to allow it. You can challenge if you want, but uh, I uh, I uh, hope you spin like the wild you berries that you <laughs> Right now, it's a 22 to 11 lead, and yeah. uh, I only stupid answer taking full advantage of the deferment of the berries to right. let them spin first. Now they've constructed an 11 point lead, and the right. berries have some work in front of them. Right. Go yeah. ahead and have a spin at that. Technically, wheel. in TKO <laughs> territory right here. TKO territory. Wild berries needs a little fuel. Whoa. That's right. Needs a little fuel. Fuel. Needs a little fuel. Elliot, with the only partner that's ever truly been loyal to him. That <laughs> would be fire that ball spin. Whiskey. One of the best rotations I've ever seen in the game, Mark. Good move. Straight sit, fastball. Sit. Sit. Uh, sit. Oh, 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 thank God. What do they want? Yes, Will Smith sports, movies. sports movies. Yes. We know Josh McCool wants it. How does Let's Elliot do Dewberry do feel about gonna do sports it. movies? Gonna do it. They're Why? gonna do it. Their fate. They're going lies to sports. In sports movies. Six All questions right. for you guys, administered by the great. Mark Ellis. Oh, you're too kind, yeah. but dead on as well. Average 8.2 points in 12 minutes. Average action in his junior high basketball team. It's actually accurate. After I survived getting cut in sixth grade, your question is, the world of sports, who plays Charles S. Howard, the owner of Seabiscuit in the movie Seabiscuit? Sport of Champions. That's what horse racing's about. Guy's gonna need yeah, an multiple answer. choice. Multiple okay. choice. Your multiple choice options are: Is it A. Jeff Bridges, B. Chris Cooper, C. Toby Maguire, or D. Tom Hanks? I need an answer. <laughs> uh, Bridges. Give him a point. That's correct. Oh, Give him a point. point. All right, 10 points. That movie pretty well. Still <laughs> in dangerous territory. Don't forget, <laughs> steals are possible. <laughs> that could lead to some problems. All right, question two. Your next question in sports. In the film Major League Two. Oh, are you kidding me? You put Major League? That's not even a sports movie. It's a travesty to film. In the film Major League Two, the ALCS pits the Cleveland Indians against which American League Central team? Hmm. Back in like Central formed in the mid 90s, the expansion of baseball. Uh, not, uh, not to be confused. Just American League West or American League East. <laughs> we need some two pointers. We need some okay. two pointers. We, we, we need, right. an answer need an answer in five, in five seconds. Four, three. Let's go multiple choices. Eight. All right. Your options are they clearly don't know the. Uh, no, no, they don't. The American League Central. <laughs> Is it A, the Chicago White Sox, B, the Detroit Tigers, C, the Kansas City Royals, or D, the Minnesota Twins? 
You take this one. I, I'm going to go. I want to say the Twins, but I don't think that's right. I'm going to say the Twins. Minnesota Twins. You are incorrect. Incorrect and for now. a steal. Could have oh, a steal. What, were the, what was the other choices? Your options are, is it A, the Chicago White Sox, B, the Detroit Tigers, C, the Kansas City Royals, or D, the Minnesota Twins? Detroit Tigers. That is incorrect. also incorrect. Looking for the Chicago White Sox. The Pale Hose. The Pale Hose. I believe Jack Parkman was the That's big hitter in that movie. All remember. <sighs> All right, but they are still within a uh, out of. Uh, they're in that TKO range right now. They could survive if the score stayed the same. But the third question's coming. And if only stupid answers it doesn't isn't steal. Yeah. Allowed any more steals. Your next question in sports: Who directed the 2015 film Southpaw? Bleep that it's a out. Family friendly show. Yeah, I'm gonna bleep that out there. Just cut to DJ and Sam's face during that moment. Use okay. the cough button in radio. Yeah, we're gonna answer in five, four, three. Antoine two. Fuqua. That's correct for two wow. points. That's a huge big answer there. Big answer either. there. Okay, and we move on to your next question in sports movies. What was the name of the football team made up of prisoners? in both the 1974 and 2005 versions of The Longest Yard. The name of the team? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, gotta, speaking right. of, I said cough on radio. Gonna need, an gonna need an answer soon in a five, no. four. Multiple choice. All right. All right. Football team made up of prisoners. Is it A, the wrecking crew, B, the bar breakers, C, mean machine, or D, Gridiron Gang? I need an answer in. Wrecking five. Crew? <laughs> incorrect, incorrect. Stupid answers? Only stupid answers. Uh, gridiron Gang. Nope, incorrect. We're looking for Mean Machine. Mean Machine, so the score stays the same. Fifth question. It's still an uphill battle for the Wild Berries, which some would say is something they're used to here. Uh, but uh, here we go. Big Their question. whole life has been hard. These yes. last two questions are no different. Your penultimate question in the world of sports movies. No, this is the last question. Penultimate question means second to last. Yeah. You have two more questions. Yeah, we want, we want more questions. <laughs> You're going to get two more, and I mean, the first one, one is. Up. <laughs> we'll take both. Who played Will Ferrell and John Heater's ice skating coach in the film Blades of Glory? Craig T. Nelson. That's correct Give for two, two points. points. All right. Give him two points. Well, they're closer. They needed a two-point answer, Mark. Their final one coming down. And, you know, if they get this last two-pointer right off the bat, I think that only stupid answers might start feeling a little less confident going oh. into round three. Here's your question. I don't know. What's the name kind of, looks like a of the or... Miami Dolphins mascot that was stolen in the film Ace Ventura, Pet Detective? The answer's not. <laughs> I am the Dolphins train us. No, Flake is the name of the Dolphins. That's that correct. Two points. Correct. Two points. Finkel and Einhorn. Oh, Finkel and Einhorn. Einhorn and right. Finkel. I thought the answer was Mark Duper. The <laughs> Mark Duper and Mark Love Clayton. It. God, they were great in the 80s. And these two <laughs> teams are playing pretty great as we go into round of three. Here's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. Each team is going to give Ken and I a series of three numbers. These numbers range from one to 20 because only stupid answers is in the lead we're going to get your three numbers first those numbers correspond to a movie category up here at the answer desk your first question is going to be worth two points your next three the last one five points now keep in mind this is the team format so once we tell you the category of the two-point question the team must decide which member is going to answer that isolated by themselves there's no conferring your opposite teammate will have to answer the three-point question. Then you are allowed to confirm, commiserate, whatever you want to do on the five-point question. Only stupid answers. Your three numbers are? Uh, three. Twenty. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Three, twenty, three, 20 and, and twelve. 12. Wild berries. Three numbers for you. Mm, five, ten, fifteen. 
Nice. Five, ten, <laughs> Multiples. And 15. It's good. All right. It's real Five, good. 10, 15. <laughs> All right, guys. So, Wildberries, you are going to go first. Mark Ellis will be asking you the questions here. Your first number was number five. Number five, take it away. That corresponds up here at our answer desk to the world of animated movies. Animated movies, not live action, but drawn. Elliot, Josh, who's feeling confident in animated movies? I'll take it. All right, Elliot's got it. All right, your two-point question is, what is the name of the princess in the Disney classic Sleeping Beauty? Aurora. That's Give correct two for points. two points. Look at that. I wouldn't have got that. That I great have got that. strategy I have got that. employed I there. I've never seen a young man so happy to have not gotten a question right. Josh <laughs> right. But Josh, the onus is now on you because if you get this question right, it's worth three points, meaning the wild berries or the berries as you wish to be called are going to be in the lead. No, I'm saying when you refer to us as teammates, we're saying like, he's a berry, he's a berry. But oh, together man. we are wild berries. Okay, that's when cute. He's not wild and that one's berry? That's, the three that's, point that's question that's cute. that is aimed at Josh McCuga, who represents Team Wildebeest, is. <laughs> uh, what category here? Wild in the guess. world of bio. Oh, okay. look at that. All right, all right. <clears throat> and your question is Nick Nolte and Susan Sarandon star as the Odones, a couple who are trying to find a cure for their son's disease. In what 1992? <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, I saw the look on Josh's face. Uh, I'll read the question again because I started. Yeah. Nick okay. Nolte and Susan Sarandon star as the Odones. They are a couple trying to find a cure for their son's disease in what 1992 film? <laughs> what? All right, he's thinking. Count I mean, down here. Uh, me. Need, I know it's not. I, 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 I'm just going to say Prince of Tides because I know Nick Nolte's in that movie. It's uh, a hell of a <laughs> yes. It is incorrect. We're looking for Lorenzo's oil. A classic. An it's not, 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 not classic. Mother of Dragons. Whoa. God damn it. Lorenzo's right. oil. Josh McCuga letting down his entire city, but he has a chance to reclaim some glory if That's him right. and Elliot, who are allowed to commiserate with each other in the five point question, can nail it here and put the onus back. On only stupid answers. If the wild berries miss this question, then only stupid answers will have achieved their first victory in the movie trivia Schmodown. You chose number 15, and that corresponds up here at our desk to movie quotes. Ooh. Farts. Movie quotes. That was a quote from Caddyshack. Mm -hmm. And your quote. Bashers over here giving me the choke sign. This is some BS. <laughs> no. uh, I'm freaking out. What were you like <laughs> measuring your collar for a jacket? What is this? All All right. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, children. The question for five points in the area of movie quotes is in which 1970s thriller <laughs> fart does the villain repeatedly ask, is it safe? All right. Question is out. Elliot is thinking. It doesn't. Uh, I don't even think Josh uh, God. knows what the seventies are. Um, the way he dresses yeah. would seem to kind of. You're coming down towards the end here. We're gonna need an answer soon. Fuck. In five. Uh, four, can you repeat the question? All right. You certainly you are allowed to use one two of, of your JT rules left. Your question is, in what seventies thriller does the villain repeatedly ask, "Is it safe"? Question's been asked a second time here. Mm. Uh, jackets are not helping him now, but he will need an answer here again in five, four, three. Wow, well, one more time two. to repeat the question. <laughs> All right, that's right. You have one remaining, one <laughs> remaining. Your question is in which 70s thriller does the villain repeatedly ask, is it safe? All right, count down here. They're not even listening Gonna when I repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> answer. Really? Cold. I mean, it's a good strategy. All right. And a five, four, three, two. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> yeah. All right. They have used their final JTE rule. Mark, please. Not sure which part of the question you're not hearing clearly. In which 70s thriller does the villain repeatedly ask, is it safe? All right. That is it. They are out of JTE rules. Conferring. And they're going to need to give us an answer. In. 
five, four, three, two. Uh, we're going to go with Poltergeist. <laughs> that is incorrect. And you're the winner with a final score of 22 to 20. Sam, DJ, only stupid answers. Looking for Marathon Man. Marathon Man was the answer there. Absolutely, Mark. Who's doing the dancing now, Ken? It is only stupid answers. Look at that. Look at that. That was a great performance from Only Stupid Answers. I won't say anything bad about Wildberry's performance. They came up short at the end, but they, they were there in the beginning of the game. They kept pace, and they had that great come from behind to tie it at 11, but then they just got too far behind. That's right. Wildberry's doing what we ask them to do here, and what all the fans love them for is being great entertainers. Maybe not the best sportsmen, no. but they certainly no. got their share of answers correctly. I think that this match is, is not about a failure on the part of the Wildberries. It's more about how successful Only Stupid Answers was. Right. I, 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 people are going right. to be asking them to change their team name, but I think Only Stupid Answers is now clearly a parody moniker because yeah. they know a lot about movie trivia. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm being pelted here by plush dolls and wigs. Uh, Josh Brook was destroying things backstage. Um, now he's dressed as Captain Phasma, oh, one of the boy. characters in the upcoming Last Jedi movie, uh, or it might be out. Uh, I don't know anymore. Um, Send him so, to the trash compactor. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's let's uh, let's see if we can get them backstage right now. We have a special uh, interviewer uh, today. It is Ms. Perry Nemiroff. Hey guys, so happy to be back on Schmodown and pretty damn happy to be standing next to the winners right now. We have only stupid answers here. Guys, I'll be honest, I didn't have all that much faith in you. Cause, Us neither. You know, I, yeah. I know they know their stuff, but yeah. you're, I'm, I'm with everybody now that I think you need to change your team name. We watch a lot of sci-fi and fantasy movies, what can we say? That was pure luck. That will never happen again. I'm going to just say that right now for the record. Never happen again. So only zero confidence, maybe. Give hey, yourselves a little credit here. Come listen, on. Listen, sometimes things work out. <laughs> That's our slogan. <laughs> sometimes things work out. Sometimes things work out, yeah. So, sometimes it works. So what do you think happened to them? I think I'm blaming the fireball. I mean, the second you start swigging fireball, I feel like everything just goes downhill, no? They did crush a lot of fireball during yeah. that show. That, I mean, that, even before they came out, you should, it's... It's unhealthy. They should get some counseling about it. Major League Two is not also not fair to put into any quiz. That's not fair. <laughs> that is a good point. What were you guys thinking after you got through round two and you had such a big lead? Were you sitting there like, oh, we got it in the bag. This is ours. This has happened a lot where we get like a really good lead and then all of a sudden like the carpet gets yanked out from underneath us and we don't. But it, we had, a, yeah, we had a lead for a second in the first round too, with the and then it, you know. Yeah. So you don't know. The point is you don't know. No, no. Well, the point is, it's a more exciting win when you kind of keep it neck and neck for a little while, and then you pull away and you can enjoy it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right, so now that you have no confidence going into your next match, yes. who are you going to take on? Do we get to choose? Yeah, do yeah, we choose? Call someone out. Go for it. Go crazy. You guys are the winners. Uh, James Cameron. You, be, you better watch out, <laughs> man. Coming for you. Or do we just pick some? Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. I can make that happen. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, get, him on, get Jimmy on the, on the phone. Yeah. James Cameron. Only Stupid Answers is coming for you. You can't answer any questions about your movies. Oh, it's not cheating, fair. man. Come that on, sounds don't. fair. We won't answer from our movies. You don't answer your movies. It's easy. Done. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! No! 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 It's... No! Only Stupid Answers? More like Only Stupid Questions? Yeah! Oh, I'm sorry, me and Josh were too busy both taking separate trips to Europe, absorbing that culture, to follow up on the fucking minute intricacies of stupid ass American movies like Major League like, Two! Like Major League Two and Marathon Man. Marathon Man is marathons are stupid, so are half marathons. They're worthless races that nobody should be doing. This is why you should not drink fireball during a Schmodown match. It's some real bullshit! I'm coming at you, camera! I'm just so goddamn upset. Fuck! Shit! Boss! I think we're done here. 
Give us another match, you sons of bitches, because we're the most entertaining team in the league, goddammit. We deserve another match. We deserve all the matches. None of the belts, all the matches. And none of those little tricks. None of those little tricks with the five-point question being a crock of shit that no one fucking knows. You didn't know the answer. You didn't want to you know the answer. Know. None of you knew. Oh, I trained for a marathon. Marathons oh, are for cool people. Man. Don't leave, Is Perry. it safe? Is oh, it safe I in the marathon? I go jogging. Ooh, cool. Good for you. I'll race you, man. I don't want to race you. I want to sit on my couch and watch television and movies that aren't marathon, man, and eat wild berries. Sci-fi category was bullshit. Ah! There you go. That's that. No, no uh, fireball for anybody. Now I'm scared. I'm leaving. Well, you see that, Ken. I mean, look, the the wild berries. You can tell they're crushed. They're they're trying to put an entertaining yeah. spin on this, but they're very angry. They're very loud, and only stupid answers. I think that they have finally found their place in the movie trivia showdown because yeah. you don't know how to recover if your first uh, event is is a loss. You're like, am I good at this? Should should I be doing this as a career? Clearly, mm -hmm. they have a whole lot of game, and they proved it here today. Yeah, I have wig hair on my face. Black curly hair. Yeah, I'm getting that off now. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? I, uh, the, the only stupid answers I think they are. They they always seem they're so nice and they seem almost generally surprised by what they're able to pull off here. But maybe they could start focusing and look towards the future. Sam and DJ, they do know answers here. They ha keep coming up with big answers. It's not just one category they're well in. It is a well-rounded performance from them. And again. you mentioned very nice guys. I mean, if we've heard anything in the movie trivia showdown, is it you either die mm -hmm. a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. We'll yeah. see how their career pans out. As for the Wild Berries, look, their merchandise is selling a lot of hotcakes. Right. Started by Ryan in Ohio, and now it's sweeping the nation and indeed the world. Will that trend continue? Do you think Wild Berries has one more uh, piece of gas in their tank? I, I think they they have one more chance to really get serious, maybe get some dark colored jackets that are maybe more business casual and really get serious about the competition. More like a uh, team action vibe. Well, we are going to say thank you and good night. That is Ken. My name is Mark. Thank you guys for tuning into the movie trivia showdown. Make sure that you guys check out the showdown rundown podcast on iTunes and request to be a member of the movie trivia showdown Facebook fan page. Request to be a member. They'll approve you. You keep it classy in there. And don't forget to get that movie trivia showdown app. I'll play you online late at night. Right here. I'll, I'll defeat you. I right swear here. it. All right, I've lost a lot. And All right. go carry. But let's go to Frank Janish with the pregame post. Let's it's, go it's to the, it's the post game. Let's go to Frank Janish. I got a point for okay. that. Okay. Let's go to Frank Janish with the post game wrap up. Let's get some stats and numbers right now. What's happening, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and today's match between the Wildberries and Only Stupid Answers saw us finally return to regular league matches. And Only Stupid Answers, well, not so stupid after all. And this is your Schmodown breakdown. And your winner! After disappointing debut matches from both of these teams, it seems some studying took place during their off time because early on, both teams showed improved performance from their previous matches, and after one round, we were dead even at 11 points. And based on league standards this season, both teams were above average by a full point. Wildberries! As it happens so often in this game, round two can make or break you, and only stupid answers landing on fantasy sci-fi was just what they needed as they earned 11 points, answering all six questions correctly, using multiple choice just once. This is the 15th time a team has had a perfect round when using multiple choice this season. Right now it's a 22 to 11 lead and yeah. I only stupid answer taking full advantage of the deferment of the berries to right. let them spin first. As for the wild berries, landing on sports didn't quite go the way they would have liked. Wild berries were just one of three when using multiple choice and teams this season are answering 55% correct when using multiple choice. And with their seven point turn, it's just a one point improvement from their last match. And these two <laughs> teams are playing pretty great as we go into round three. After Dewberry answered their two point question correctly in the third round, the Wildberries had two more opportunities with their three and five point questions to send it back to only stupid answers. Instead, they repeated what they did last match and missed their final two questions, resulting in a TKO. This is the third time in Schmodown team history a team has lost by a TKO in consecutive matches. 
Now let's go and look at the final numbers for this match. That was pure luck. That will never happen again. I'm going to just say that right now for the record. The Wild Berries won 16 of 25 for a 64% accuracy rate. With this performance, they raised their overall accuracy rate by nearly 9% and are now correctly answering 58% through two matches. As for Sam and DJ, they went 17 of 24 for a 71% accuracy rate. That's a 13% increase in accuracy from their debut match and are now 64% overall. Now if you need more stats on the Schmodown, head over to SD Rundown Stats on Twitter, as well as listen to the Schmodown Rundown podcast every Saturday on the SK Plus YouTube channel or on the Schmo's No podcast feed on iTunes. And this has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Well, well, what do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on Schmo down any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a Schmo down? Oh, I want a Schmo down right now. Oh, you want a Schmo down I, right I, now? I want a Schmo down right now, Riley. Well, then draw. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia Schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the movie trivia Schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time.